Hello, my name is Martin Motoloka, one of the three advisors that we have here in CTAR. Uh, one of the many perks about belonging to the greatest college, not only at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, but possibly the universe. Here we require mandatory yet free advising for all of our students, um, but we also provide academic advising services for prospective students, so for students who are considering transferring into CTAR to help you accomplish your academic goals. CTAR provides our students with both academic and faculty advisors. Academic advisors differ from your faculty advisors in that we, the academic advisors, are generalists, but the faculty advisors are the specialists. They are the authority when it comes to your specific major and field. They can really help you with your individual and specific goals. While not every major in CTAR makes it mandatory to meet with your faculty advisor, we always highly recommend it. Now before I talk to you about the three type of academic advising appointments you can schedule, I recommend you visit and bookmark www.ctar.fae.edu slash ugadvising. This site holds everything that I'm going to discuss. The first type of appointment, prospective or new student advising, is for undergraduate students who are not declared majors in CTAR, but would like to or are considering transferring into CTAR. This type of appointment is also for newly admitted CTAR students. In this appointment, advisors can assist with an unofficial transfer credit evaluation, full program overview, suggested course for registration, um, a lot about 45 minutes for this appointment. You should select the mandatory or general advising appointment type once you are a continuing CTAR student. This appointment will satisfy your mandatory advising requirement. Uh, we will cover planning, assist with decision making, goal setting, and creating educational plans. We will also sign off on forums and do a graduation check. This type of appointment usually takes about 30 minutes. The last type of appointment that can be booked is express advising. Express advising is meant for quick questions that can be answered within the allotted 15 minutes. Uh, you can also book this type of appointment uh, should you need an advisor to sign off on one of your forms, uh, like the VA enrollment verification, the course withdrawal, or the concurrent enrollment form. There are two other types of appointments I should mention. Uh, the first is for CTAR students who fall within the 0 to 45 credit range. Uh, these students can opt to meet with a peer advisor. The Trey Manoa peer advisor can provide the same level of academic advising that any one of the three advisors can do. And you can book a peer advising appointment through the same website. The last type of appointment it is technically not an appointment. Uh, we do offer walk-in advising for quick express advising type needs. So please check the CTAR advising website for the dates and times that a walk-in advisor is available. Now before your appointment, I would highly encourage you to visit www.ctar.hawaii.edu slash ugadvising and go to the advising syllabus link. Review the advising syllabus to know uh, how to prepare for your academic advising, meaning uh, review your degree progress in STAR um, and the ac academic essentials page. Um, be prepared to discuss your goals, your educational plan, write down any questions that you may have before time, um, and gather any important forms that you may need an advisor to verify or sign off on. You can book all of these appointments by going to the CTAR Advising website. Just click on the Book Now link and you will have the option to choose any one of the three advisors. You can also choose the No Preference option if you would like to book based on availability rather than uh, any individual advisor. After selecting an advisor, you will need to choose an appointment time that works for your schedule. Pro tip! Do not choose a time that conflicts with one of your classes. Next, complete the booking form and click Submit. You will then receive a confirmation email uh, to the email address that you have provided within the form. Keep this email handy as it will have useful links should you need to reschedule or cancel your advising appointment. Now that you are ready to book an appointment, I look forward to meeting you in the near future should you choose me. Um, up next, we have Miley, and she will discuss how to register for your classes.